Hello! Who is ready to Rick's Flicks and relax to the best of Islands of Adventure? Me! Today we're talking about the best thrill ride, the best kid ride, the best adult drink, the best place to eat, etc, etc. Before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time, so hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. So I think what we'll do today is we'll take a clockwise trip around Islands of Adventure and as we come across the best of something, we'll show it to you. Starting with the best thrill ride, the Incredible Hulk Roller Coaster. Hey, that's a good one. One of the easiest things to put on this list the Incredible Hulk roller coaster, very thrilling. We've got that launch shootout. You've got all these loops. You've got the Cobra section, I believe this is called. A top speed of 67 miles per hour. Great soundtrack in addition to all that. This is one where I'm gonna say the back row is best on this coaster. I would agree. Yeah. And my reasoning for that is because in the back row, you're in that tunnel launch section a little bit longer. Yes, because honestly, it doesn't start, the launch doesn't start until like the front car is almost probably a third yeah. of the way up. Yeah, for sure. So if you think about it, you're still at the bottom of the incline Yeah. when it takes off. If you're in the back row. If you're in the back row, exactly. <laughs> the front row, you're out of the tunnel really, really fast. So yeah. the back row, you can, it feels like it's a longer launch and it is true, about 20 feet more in the tunnel. So, a split second, but hey, I like our reasoning. <laughs> it's a good thing we're starting in Marvel Superhero Island. A lot of best ofs in here. And there's multiple items best of, so let's move on to the next one, which will be the best 3D ride. So easy to pick this one. The best 3D ride, the amazing Spider-Man. So don't screw this up. I mean, uh, good luck. Man, you shouldn't be out here. Doc Ock on the loose. This could be the most dangerous night of my life. And yours. Be careful. Nice shades. The Amazing Spider-Man ride in 3D often wins the like different theme park magazine awards as best dark ride. Um, they've recently, in the past couple years, they upgraded the visuals to 4K. And you can tell it is super crystal clear. It's so good. I really like the filming technique of this, where it's like you're in a comic or a cartoon. Yeah, me too. Yeah. You see every single one of those, you know, villains. It's awesome. Yeah, and the ride itself, the movement of the ride vehicle, the scoop that you're in, because it sometimes spins and everything. Nice and smooth. Um, transitions between scenes, everything. Oh, yeah, and very quotable, this ride. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and for all those reasons, we've named it the best 3D ride at Islands of Adventure. Not that we're the first to do that. Making the list as the best character encounter, the best meet and greet. Spider-Man, of course. Of course. How's it going? It's going good. It's going good. I've met you before. You have. And we I, and you like did really cool web shoes. We did. I remember we did. that day. Now, Hi, how are you people? Spider-Man and my friend. <laughs> Prediction. Yes. Spider-Man all day, every day. Hi! Booyah, booyah, booyah. Thank you guys. Come and see it anytime. I'll be here too. Come see me. See you later. And that's right. We've named Spider-Man as another best of here at Islands of Adventure. The Spider-Man meet and greet. The best one in this park. This Spider-Man is so amazing. Yeah, he's hilarious. He His interactions with people are so like spot on to the character. It's amazing. It is. You would think it was actually <laughs> Spider-Man. I've even heard from team members he stays in character in the break room. Yes, he jumps on tables just to entertain <laughs> those team members. It's awesome. He is the real Spider-Man. He is. He must be. That's why it's the best character encounter here. Agreed. The best street show also here in Marvel Superhero Island is when all of the characters ride out on their little cam motorcycles. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> As far as street shows go, Islands of Adventure does not have a lot to offer. But one thing they do have is every so often, the heroes here 
they'll come out on their little cam cam motorcycles, whatever these are, and, and speed down the street. Yes, they have the music blaring and they come flying in on those cam cams. And I mean, the characters are just phenomenal in this section. I love them. Yep. Every single one of them is great. Yeah, so once they actually park, that's when all the characters, they go to the little spot. Yep. And that's where they do the little character encounters. Yes. Now, Spider-Man is out more often. That's why he won that category. But they all come out after they ride their little cam motorcycles around. So we're finally leaving Marvel Superhero Island a lot of best ofs in there. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I know. It's awesome. It's a really good section of the park, guys. Yeah. But they're, they don't have the best water ride. For that, we do need to go into Toon Lagoon. Toon Lagoon is the spot for the water rides at Islands of Adventure. Plus, there's kind of one in Jurassic Park. So the competition for this award. Very fierce. Yeah. So we have uh, the Jurassic Park River Adventure was in contention. And then the other serious contender was Rip Saw Falls because you would get very wet on that ride. But the winner is going to end up being Popeyes and Bluto's Barges. Best water ride in the park. So why did this one win over the other ones? Yeah. Pure wetness. Pure wetness. Jurassic Park River Adventure, I mean, you'll get a little mist. If you're in the front row, you get a little more wet. Rip Saw Falls, hey, there they go, right there. They got soaked just, just now. That waterfall right there by my head. And it's chilly today. <laughs> uh, crazy. Rips off balls. I mean, you get really wet on that one too. Yeah, you do. But this one, there's just there's just places on this one where you are just so a deluge of water comes on you. It's unavoidable in this ride, I swear. So it was really close between Ripsaw and Popeyes, but this one, the best water ride in the park for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get cooled off? You want to get wet? This is the one to go on. The one. <laughs> I would actually say though, for um, for the Jurassic Park River Adventure, not the ride, but if you go stand in the splash zone, you'll get really wet. <laughs> yes, and you've proven that time and time again. But I'm not. That's not an official ride, so <laughs> I'm, I'm not. It, it's a good spot to get wet. Yeah. But this is the best ride to get wet on. Definitely. Moving on around the park, we are about to enter Skull Island. There are two best ofs in here. Ooh. The first one is gonna be the best non-alcoholic drink. And surprise, surprise, it's not butterbeer. What? I named that in the previous video over there for uh, Diagon Alley, so I'm not gonna have it repeat. There's uh -huh. a new drink we can mention over here. All right. So here at the edge of Skull Island, right after we have left Toon Lagoon, you'll find the best non-alcoholic drink, a banana slushy. I don't know, I still disagree. <laughs> well. Can't win everything, I know. I, I, that butterbeer was on a different video. It was. Uh, but I, you know me, I love banana. I love slushies. And it, so this also, part of the factor is that we're talking about a banana slushy and Kong. <laughs> you get it right? Kong's an ape, a banana, you know, it kind of goes it. together. So. I get it, all right. No arguments, <laughs> I, we agree. Part of the reason for it winning is that cuteness factor. <laughs> And here it is, our banana icy. I think you called it a slushy earlier, Nikki. I hate. It. I don't want to correct you, but it is actually an icy. Let's not mix our brands. A banana icy for five dollars and fifty-five cents. I don't know what to say. Are, are you sure it was me that said it and not you? I don't recall, and we'll check the film later. But right now, we're going with the theory you called it a slushy, whereas I know it's an icy. <laughs> okay. The best animatronic at Islands of Adventure, Kong, here in Skull Island. What do you think about that choice, Nikki? I was gonna say, I kind of disagree. What about Hagrid? Woman! Harry Potter cannot win everything. This animatronic is large and in charge. It is, I mean, it's bigger than Hagrid. This is the biggest working animatronic maybe in the world. I, for sure in this area of Orlando. Um, here's a little pro tip for you. Sit to the middle to the back of the bus when on this ride. And also, when you're at the end and you actually come to Kong, take off your glasses. See it with your naked eyes. That's how it's meant to be seen. Fun fact about this Kong ride. 
If it wasn't for Kong, I maybe would not be a vlogger. Oh, okay. I didn't know where you were going with that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they were building this ride. Um, I was like, you know what? I bet I can find out what they're building on YouTube. And that's how I came across theme park vlogging. So we owe all this to Kong. Or all the blame. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. The best quick service spot for food right here in Jurassic Park, Thunder Falls. And I'll explain why. I do like the food here. Obviously, that's why it's on the list. Nothing like very, very unique. I mean, you'll find some of this stuff in the rest of the park. Uh, I like the rotisserie chicken and the ribs, but you can also get like turkey leg, rice bowl, salads, beer and wine, things like that. The corn on the cob's good, the potatoes. So there's dishes here that I like, but what really sets this apart is I do love the inside decor, very Jurassic Parky. <laughs> but the best thing is the outside seating, and that's really why this made the list as the best quick service spot in Islands of Adventure. Oh, what I really like about this area is the outside seating. Sit out here, grab your food, which is good food, but you get to enjoy the splashdown of the Jurassic Park River Adventure. And on a warm day, kids will be playing here, watch them get splashed. Hey, and if you're up to it, go splash yourself. Yeah, all day long I can sit here with my chicken and my ribs <laughs> and just watch these boats come down. So much fun. A great quick service spot. So earlier in the video, I did mention that the best thrill ride is the Hulk. But how long will it hold that title? Who knows, because the Jurassic Park roller coaster is coming. It should probably be faster than the Hulk. Yeah. Will it be more thrilling? We'll have to wait and find out. While we're in Jurassic Park, I should mention Jurassic Park fans may say the raptor encounter here is the best character meet and greet. And they would have a strong argument. Yes, they would. The best photo spot at Islands of Adventure, right here by Hogwarts Castle. Do you want to be the model or should I be the model? I'll let you be the model. Well, I'm not shy. He's the on-camera talent. There's multiple spots to get this photo. Most people seem to enjoy it by the bridge. Yes. Stand on the bridge that leads you over to Jurassic Park, which almost I almost put a Jurassic Park picture as winning this spot. That picture with the Jeep and the dino is really cool, but there's no way I could pass up Hogwarts Castle as being the best photo op in Islands of Adventure. Yay! Harry Potter finally wins something with you. <laughs> well, it's about to win something else. That's a good segue. Okay, good. Thank you. Because we're going to move on to the best overall ride. Oh, great. And I should mention, on that bridge is the only spot in Hogsmeade, in the Wizarding World, where they will have a photo pass photographer. Because technically, you're not in Hogsmeade yet. That is very true. Something to take advantage of. And the best overall ride at Islands of Adventure Motorbike Adventure. Oh, there it goes. What else? So much fun. Why is this the best overall, Rick? Why I'm glad you asked that question, Nikki. <laughs> well, first of all, we have the multiple launches, and it escapes me how many. I think seven launches on this ride. One of them backwards. Yes, which is incredible. And then you have that one section when you go up really high and you fall back backwards. Yes. And during that backwards fall, also a launch, a backward launch. Um, and then we have the great Hagrid animatronic that makes it great. And a smell. There's a smell in there, some say. A <laughs> rotten fish or a sweet popcorn. <laughs> Whichever one. Um, but then there's the drop track. And that's what puts it over the top for me. Is that drop track on a roller coaster? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. So there's a lot going on with this coaster. A lot to like about it. That's why it's the best overall ride here. The only thing with this ride. I just wish it wouldn't break down so much. <laughs> I think a lot of people are in agreement with that one. <laughs> the best adult drink here in Islands of Adventure can be found only in Hogshead here in Hogsmeade. Hogs Tea is um, a Hogshead pub exclusive. It's one of the strongest drinks at the resort. It is similar to a traditional Long Island iced tea with one major exception. Instead of a splash of cola, the Hogshead tea actually is an iced tea as a mixer. So it's it's made with raspberry tea, which offers sweet and easy to drink combination, and can also request regular sweet tea, um, or even unsweet tea, if you prefer. So here's a tip, ask for a large and a 16 ounce cup instead of a regular 12 ounce cup, and the amount of alcohol will be the same, 
but you will get more tea in which makes the drink last longer and the flavor a little more mellow. And just to give you a better clue as to where Hog's Head is, it is right next to, just to the right of the three broomsticks. Real fast, I guess we should mention the best non-ride attraction. And again, I'm gonna pick something Harry Potter. Yay! Despite your disbelief of me <laughs> choosing Harry Potter items, um, it's gonna be the Ollivander's Wand Show. That's a good one, I like it. A super fun show, especially if you get picked to choose the one or have the one choose you. Uh, but it's also kind of fun to watch, kind of funny. You know what? I wish there was a sorting hat show though. They had that at the Harry Potter celebration days. Yeah. I really wish that they had that year round. Yeah. That's such a good idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, why haven't they done that? Just jazz it up a bit from what yeah. they had at uh, the celebration of Harry Potter. But for now, we'll go with the wand show. But I wish there was a sorting hat show. And the best full service restaurant right here in the Lost Continent, Mythos. This was an easy one. <laughs> I'm not the only one who thinks this is the best full-service restaurant at Islands of Adventure. This has won numerous awards, numerous years. Currently, Theme Park Insider names it as the best theme park restaurant. From personal experience, I can recommend the beef medallions, the lamb burger, and oh my goodness, the salmon is so good here. You can't go wrong with any of the entrees, I would say. What would you say, Nikki, is the best, like, appetizer? My favorite all-time appetizer that I've ever had is the spinach artichoke dip here. The best I've ever had, ever. So there you go. Grab that as your appetizer and any entree, although I do recommend the salmon. Now this place, I would say, is, for me, it's always been more of a dinner spot because it's a bit fancier than, say, lunch. But you could have lunch here if you like a fancy lunch or definitely hit this place up for dinner. Heading into Seuss Landing for, you guessed it, the best bathrooms at <laughs> Iowa. We have to put this on the list. Now, it's not only the best bathrooms, it's also the most quotable entry to the bathroom. <laughs> it is. We call this bathroom the Q bathroom. That's right. And here's why. Q. Q is for Quan. Quan is for Quandary. That's right. Q is for Quan. And, and Quan, Quan is, is for Quandary. <laughs> Uh, but these bathrooms are relatively unbusy. They're always clean and they don't smell. <laughs> no, they smell good in fact. They smell good. They pipe in, in some fresh scent. Yes, they do. I don't know what it is, but it smells good. It's that Sioux scent. <laughs> there you go. And for those reasons, we named the Q Whisper Condry Bathroom in Sioux Landing the best bathrooms at Islands of Adventure. Something you need to know. And since we are in Seuss Landing, we should name the best kid ride. Of course it has to be in Seuss Landing. This is the kid area. Although there are a few other options throughout the park, but we're gonna find the best one over here. Should we name it now? Yeah. The Cat in the Hat Ride. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of good children rides in Seuss Landing. Yes. But I think the Seussiest, the Seussiest is Cat in the Hat because if you're reading all the books to the kids, um, the Seuss books, this one kind of gives you the feeling of being in the books. Yes, it kind of makes the story come alive. Yeah. An interesting side note about this ride, the ride track and the ride vehicle, this is what MIB, Men in Black, Alien Attack is based on. It's based on the same track and <laughs> ride technology. You know what, I guess we should mention the best shop or store here. Yeah. Now, there's tons of stores, specific stores. If you like comics, you want to go to a store in Marvel Island. Like uh, Harry Potter, you need to go to a store there in uh, Wizarding World. Yeah, Filches. But what, what I'm going to name as the best store is the Trading Company because it has different sections for everything. Yeah, it's a catch-all and it's got everything you need. Yeah, so if you forget something when you're out in the park, you know, they have a superhero section, they've got Jurassic Park section, Harry Potter section, so. Simpsons, even stuff from the studio side, you can yeah. get on this side too, so it's actually really good. So for that reason, I named the trading company, here in the front of the store, front of the park, the best store. And there you have it guys, the best of Islands of Adventure. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helps you out a lot when you're here visiting. <laughs> And with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now it's time to relax. Hey, hey, thank you to the following viewers who visited my coffee page and bought me a cup of coffee or a butter beer recently. Thank you so much, Mary Ann Carpenter, Pat and Allie, Jim D, 
Barbara T, Andy and Sandy, I love it when things rhyme, and to my UK gang, Gemma, Matt, Carl, and Liv.